Right now at 5 on KMTV 3 News Now, family, friends, and strangers remember three people gunned down on a bitterly cold night in Omaha this week. The vigil at 37th near Spalding comes as the relative accused of pulling the trigger and shattering so many lives faced a judge in Tennessee today. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. It's a triple shooting that has stunned Omaha. 70-year-old John Dalton Sr., his wife, 65-year-old Jean Dalton, and their granddaughter, 18-year-old Liana Dalton Phillip, all died. We have team coverage tonight. Miranda Christian is live at tonight's prayer vigil. The suspect, John Dalton Jr., had a history of violence toward women. Nick Starling looks at where domestic violence victims can get help. And senior reporter Jake Wozakowski is following the process of getting Dalton Jr. back to Omaha to face murder charges. We begin with Jake. Well, guys, authorities were able to track the suspect down within 24 hours, almost 700 miles away. Prosecutors say Dalton is no stranger to taking a family member's life. A day after Christmas, three people found dead inside a home at 37th and Spalding. The Tennessee State Patrol and U.S. Marshals arrest 46-year-old John Dalton Jr. near Jackson, Tennessee, Wednesday on a warrant for three counts of first-degree murder for allegedly killing his parents and niece. Omaha police worked with other agencies to track him down, but authorities wouldn't say why he was going south. Well, he was living here in Omaha, and uh, I mean... Obviously, he took off and we captured him in Tennessee. Dalton Jr. waves extradition in Madison County General Sessions Court in Tennessee, so he will be brought back to Nebraska likely over the weekend. Our affiliate in Jackson, Tennessee, said Dalton was quiet during court. I can't comment on the motive um, because they are still working it. It's still very early on. So I don't want to I don't want to say too much at this time. Dalton Jr. was sentenced in 1999 to 20 to 30 years when he pled guilty to manslaughter and two other felonies for killing his wife Shannon while his kids were home. Judge Robert Burkhardt had the option to send him to prison for up to 90 years. Beadle, who prosecuted the case, said the family was comfortable with the plea, but the sentence was lower than what they thought was appropriate. He's obviously somebody who needs to never see the light of day again. Um, they gave him a chance on parole and, you know, um, obviously he, he goes and, and we charged him with doing this. So Dalton will be brought back to Omaha and he will likely face a judge in Douglas County on Tuesday or Wednesday. There he will have his bond set. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. All right.